What's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT Champion. So looks like it's time to bring out two Porsche 911 GT3 models for a custom race on Gran Turismo Sports. So looks like for the release of the September update along with the Fuji Speedway. So it looks like this time that I'm about to be ready to go and start using the, the Porsche 911 GT3 2001. Because this model is 996 so this is definitely was also seen in Gran Turismo 3 as probably a secret car for it but well most other GT players was quite think that the Porsche just definitely made it as, as an early de debut was ever yet to be shown so I kind of think now arriving in Gran Turismo Sports because this is going to be quite good to be fully premiumized for this 2001 model so looks like I might be able to go and give it a spin well, actually, I just already did trying out the the model 996 of the Porsche 911 GT3. So this one is definitely without the RS model, but this is going to be quite very good. So looks like the, I'm about to be taking on to the Norse Ilpe for for only a one lap challenge. So this is going to be quite very good to be able to take on two Porsches on the track. So this is going to be quite good. So, and this one is definitely an N400 division category for the N series. Drivetrain is RR and standard performance is 354 horsepower. That might be quite very good to see it. Now let's see if this is going to be quite good for the for this design of this car. Well actually 17 years until now when the Porsche just definitely quite seem to be fully premiumized for it. So this is might be very good. So I'll be able to go pro at it because this is going to be quite giving a better interesting fact to do it. So I kind of think this segment to Porsche is going to be quite very good to be able to be raced on to the notion of Ilpe. And probably after this, I'll be able to try out with the 2008 model because this is going to be quite very good to see if do it. But actually, the 2016 model, the 991 Porsche G 911 GT3 RS was actually going to be as the main stronger opponent along with the Amuse S2000 GT1 Turbo. So this is might be able to give it all in to see how the 2016 Porsche model can also to face with the other 911 GT3 models for it. But this is going to be quite very good to have two Porsches to be in the game. But luckily, this is going to be quite very excitement that we're that I'm about to take it all in. So looks like Notion Ilpe Race One is going to be quite going in for it by having a starting grid by giving a little center the ball for it. Now look at this interior for it in case if you want to see it again, because this is definitely a, a 2001 model like never before because. It also has a, a total of time as separately quite able to be shown on the left C monitor board. So looks like that we're about to take a little bit of racing throw on the cruise and then this will get everything prepped up for it. Okay, so looks like just gonna make a little bit of struggle pass on over. Four Mustang is in the way. Okay, this is, might be quite very good to see. This will be quite good for the challenge. Just trying to make a little struggle pass for the group three row card series board. Now, looks like I'm about to take overpass struggle on the Apple Romeo. Then, looks like take a little key pass onto the fourth GT. Then, here comes on the upper hill. Ooh, pretty nice handling to be able to keep it in for because this will be able to drive hard on the RR drivetrain for it. Okay, so this is going to be quite very good to see if this is going to have to take a little total number of time has ever yet to be counting on. So counting on 
a total of time will be able to show on this interior view will be able to keep in track while you're racing at. That will be able to keep it in to be monitoring for the distance whenever you drove on. Okay, so now let's give it a little bit of pass on to the McLaren. So definitely only got 11 gaps to go because I'll be able to keep on breathing up hard. So this Porsche is going to be quite very good to see it because this will be able to do it just fine when playing Gran Turismo 3. Well, I kind of think that it was differently seen as a standard vehicle for it. Well, definitely, they just decided to stick with the rough, with the other counterparts German manufacturing, known as Rupp. Well, I kind of think Rupp has other German vehicles like Porsche does for it. Well, it is quite differently the same model for it, but, well, it is kind of for sure that the RUF was quite very like the same type of the specific models with different names on it like the Porsche does for it but it is definitely quite able to be quite shown the differences well maybe we also love Porsche because it is quite very excitement that most of them they just wanted to try it out and give it a spin for it and maybe just take it to the track and race it and see how it feels for it because this might be quite giving the good stuff to be able to be chose on for it. Okay, looks like this is, might be very good. I'm on the 8th place. Just trying to make a little bit of struggle pass on to the supercar. Very good. One step pass in. The NSX is actually quite going in the way. So it looks like here before now from standard to become a fully detailed car for the model 996 of the Porsche 911 GT3 because this is going to be quite very good to see it because it is also to be quite very good for the steering wheel on, in high definition graphics for it. Now all you have to do is just try to keep it calm and keep it smooth until you'll be able to reach first place to be all or nothing. Very good. Now, looks like it's time to get everything going up for it. Just only got a few more corners until reaching it on the carousel as probably it's the main checkpoint for it. There's the S2000, so probably the Porsche 911 GT3 RS was definitely currently in, in the lead. That's my main guess. I hope that is probably correct to it. Okay, here comes the carousel. Time to go and make a breaking point at it. Now let's take a little bit of steep turn to be on 50 mile range. Woohoo! Man, that was a pretty good one for it. Just gotta take a right turn to hold it in. Well, it is also quite giving the differences of each generation models of the Porsche 911 GT3 before the RS designed in 2016. Because each interior style were also shown by different designs and models by giving each spec of it. Different performances is definitely quite made and then this will be able to quite give it in to have more Porsche cars to be in it. Okay, here comes the model 991 GT3 RS is definitely quite keeping in, in the lead. Now let's just make it for a better Porsche one-on-one -on -one showdown for it. Okay, so this is going to be quite very easy. Just find the, the opening spot while the 2016 model was definitely quite coming in. 
because this is going to be quite interesting to step on in. Okay, had the lights might be turned on for it, just giving a little right blink. Thank you. And that was a friendly polite for the 2016 model to let the 2001 model 996 GT3 model will also to go on in. Well, that was a pretty nice first place lead because this is going to be a not bad start for us. Well, anyway, because this is going to be all Porsche race between two Porsche models for us because this is going to be quite good for the 2001 model can also kick it in and take the step it in for one simple chance of victory. Now almost there to head on to the straight until this is going to be good for our only first place victory for the model 996 of the Porsche 911 GT3 will be able to be yet to be shown for it because license plate was definitely quite giving the only title for it. And here comes the long straights. This is going to be the most epic part for it. A fierce showdown between two Porsche models has ever yet to be built whenever it comes to take on the winning spot for it. Because Porsche officials really want to see these models and also to see how fast can it go to be proven up for it. Standard supercars are quite ever yet to be shown for only different performances and then this will also be stayed on over to reach up to be exact on the 6 speed transmission. Okay, looks like this is going to be good for the end of the straight. Just only have to be sure to be very cautious as well. One last turn for a short stretch and then this is going to be quite good for the first winning spot for it. So the 2001 model 996 of the Porsche 911 has finally took the checker flag for a first place win. Well, the RS did its best. Kind of think that it was a pretty excitement for the top two Porsche models. That would be quite pretty amazing to have the thrill of a challenging lifetime for it. And then, looks like Clean race bonus just keeps doubling up for it. That was a lot of good daily workout exercise between the two Porsche models, the 2001 and the 2016. So, looks like this is going to be pretty excited here for you folks. Now, looks like I'll be able to change different Porsche models. So, looks like I'm about to be ready to go and start using the 911 GT3 model 997. And this time, it's going to be a 2008 model. And this is going to have a different horsepower to be ever yet to be made. Same drivetrain as the other Porsche and then the horsepower is 428. Definitely that's a good standard horsepower to be yet to be shown. Well probably, well I'm just going to have to scroll over and then we'll have to see it for it. So maybe I'll have to choose the 2008 Porsche 911 model 997. So this is going to be quite very good to see it. But well, looks like this is where the, the RS model was definitely made. So it is quite very simple to have the different headlights to be changed. That might be quite very good to see it for it. Well, I kind of think that each segment can also have different models for it. That might be quite very surprisingly to show for it. Okay, so Definitely the 911 GT3 RS has the standard horsepower for it, but luckily I'm still using the library design that I just used. So maybe I'll be able to get ready to race number two until the next one for it. That will be quite very precise for it. So maybe let's begin and then this will be able to be finishing up at the end of the race so it will be three rounds with using the different Porsche models to be able to be ready in. So looks like here we go and then the 2008 Porsche model is gonna be quite very excitement to do it. So it will be the same thing as the usual and different colors to be shown for. So probably this is the interior style was definitely made as an update for it. 
but this time it has a different style for it and was also a nice GPS system was definitely included. So let's just give this 2008 model a little bit of an excitement spin for it because this is going to be quite ever yet to be shown for it because there's no time, total time to be shown for it because it is quite very perfect for this 2008 model for it. And then it also has a number of distance to be able to be shown for it because that might be able to be marked by one. So it will be able to be marked by two when it's changed upwards while driving. Okay, so this is going to be good. Just make it a little bit of few passes to be able to go on. Okay, there you go. So actually, 2008 Porsche 911 GT3 was actually used to be race modified was definitely perfectly to participate in the 24 hours of the Nürburgring and the 24 hours of Le Mans because this is definitely a perfect choice for any kinds of Porsche race modification vehicles will be able to be race ready to be quite ever yet to be shown but it's still popular in the 2000s era because this is going to be quite good for any motorsports can ever yet to be used. Okay, now we're about to be very carefully going in for it. So this one is definitely built very fast for it. But I hope the Orange 911 GT3 RS is definitely quite currently in the, in the lead. The S2000 can also stay in, in second. Well, I kind of think that the 2001 Porsche 911 GT3 model 996, well, kind of think Kazuhiro Yamaguchi owns that vehicle. Well, it was definitely a long time ago for it, but this is going to be quite very excitement that each other sport cars that everybody loves to choose, because this is going to be quite very excited to see that each sport car can also show by any differences of each of their favorite car sports. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be very good to see it. Now, I only have to deal with a Ferrari F40 first until I'll be able to make a little bit of pass on. Okay, there you go. Double overtake on the Ferrari. That will be quite very impressive for it. Okay, here it goes. Ferrari has to make a little bit of air brake for it. Just going to have to be very cautious. Okay, so total time is 7. Hope this is going to be 8. Well, probably, I don't know about this total distance was definitely shown for it. Well, it is possibly to be able to use it on, well, maybe. I kind of think that, that I'm on the 8 total distance for it, for sure a bit, because this is, might be giving a little bit of guess question by using the 2008 Porsche 911 GT3. So this is quite very guess for any kinds of different specific interior views to be ever to be shown. Well, we might be able to inspect things out for a bit because this might be quite very good for a handling performance. Okay, so it looks like I'm on the 10. And total distance is 6.5 miles. I'll be able to keep in track of the distance when I'm using this car. Alright, looks like I'm almost there to reach the model 991 Porsche 911 GT3 RS. This is going to be quite very exciting to show for it. So definitely, the 2008 model was quite very very differently for it. It also has that wing part to be medium size for it. So the 2016 model has that very impressive wing part for it because it is definitely built for the touring car racing type because this is, might be pretty impressive for it. But it also has the same type of the headlights but 
It is quite very different, the same. So it looks like I might be able to give it a little bit of quick, quick close on it. Well, actually the tail lights is definitely quite, definitely the different type of each specific model for it. But this is, might be very closer for giving a little bit much better for it. And the 2016 is definitely quite become super cool looking headlights for it. That might be quite very 100% great approved. Okay, so there you go. That makes a first place for the 2008 model because that might be quite very impressive for it. So it looks like the S2000 is just definitely ruining the moment because I just want the 2016 Porsche 911 GT3 RS can also to be in second place. That will be quite very excited to see it for it. Okay, now let's just go and keep it up. Just try to keep it nice and smooth until you'll be able to keep falling up the apex. Now, looks like this is going to be quite pretty good. Just keep the handling to maintain the pace. Don't want that S2000 to come overtake my lead because that will be bad news. Come on, 2016 911 GT3 RS. I hope you can probably have to find a way to get in second place because this is, might be a good, perfect opportunity for it. Okay, looks like almost there to reach on over to the straight after the pass on the on a flower bed section corner for it. Okay, keep it up. Now, looks like on over to the strip straight section, just trying to keep an eye out on the S2000 until you'll be able to come and catch up for it. Seven speed transmission could be the lucky chance to go for it. But the six speed never gets up without having a single chance of a run. Okay, keep flying down. Here comes the heavy part. Just gonna have to break earlier until you be able to be safe and ready to go. Aha! I knew the 2016 Porsche 911 GT3 RS never gives up for it. That was a pretty awesome overtake moment on the S2000. So, looks like checker flag has finally come for it and the 2008 just finally comes first place at last. Well, definitely that was quite very good for it. So this is might be quite very excited to see this is gonna be quite going in for. So I might be able to have two Porsche models for having a segment folks, but don't worry. I'll be able to have three Porsche models until in the future later on. So looks like some fine clean race bonus to be quite very successful for it. That would be quite nice to be impressed. Well, gosh, I just love these two models of, of Porsche to be able to be perfectly made. That would be quite very a prop to be accepted for it. So, looks like time for a reward challenge to be able to be purchased for it. Mileage, mileage exchange. Let's give it all in. So, I might be able to be alternately to get the G9 fluorescent. So, this is definitely a light blue color. So, this is, might be perfectly for it. Well, actually, this is, might be quite very good to have the special color of the G9 color boards. So this is, might be pretty impressive to be used for a library design on something. So, definitely two Porsche has definitely come to be arrived in the September update on GT Sports. Two Porsche 911 GT3 models 
the model 997 of 2008 and model 996 of the 2001. And definitely the model 991, which is the 2016, was definitely introduced by its release. So this is, might be very good to see for it, but this was all the Porsche vehicles that we're about to be excited to be amazed. So maybe I also wanted to try out one of the six cars that I'm about to be ready for the next part of the custom race. But don't worry, it'll be able to do it by tomorrow until it'll be able to give a better chance to get the 1% chance of, of a historic race car for it because that might be able to continue on for it. So maybe I should probably have to start using the Japanese cars for it because that would be quite very good to be used for it. But don't worry, I'll be able to use one of the three cars for it because that might be quite very possible to be used for it. And definitely, that's how new cars has definitely come to made and try out for a spin. So, looks like two Porsche is quite pretty good to be racing on the notion it will be and that might be quite giving the smooth handling to spare. Alright folks, glad that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and have a good day. And please don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. And don't forget the links on the on the description down below in case if you're interesting enough to see some more cool stuff that you want to see. Because this will be quite pretty amazing for all of you guys. So I'll be able to continue on for the next custom race on Gran Turismo Sport. And I'll see you guys next time. Keep on racing, stay cool.